What's going on, guys? I'm Rockin' Raj, and today, uh, I know what you're thinking. This is Fragging Fountain, but this isn't the Fragging Fountain setup. No, this is my gaming segment. What is Rockin' Raj's movie review set doing in this one? Well, uh, while I am playing the footage you see behind me, uh, this episode's a little bit different because I'm not playing it as I'm talking. So, because fucking... So, Fallout 76. <laughs> I looked forward to for a long time, and then I, like most people, fucking saw the reviews, and um, I was like, I don't know. So this is my time with the game. Not very long. Uh, unlike a lot of people, I didn't pre-order it. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be fucking phenomenal or not. Um, you know, like everybody else had their reservations, but I seriously, I just was like, we'll wait to see what the reviews say. <laughs> Um, and I'm glad I did. I hopped on. This is what I, uh, I rented it. I red boxed it. Whatever. Played like 10 hours, roughly. So, not a really lengthy look at the game, but long enough for me. These are just my honest thoughts on it. I was very disappointed. <laughs> it's, okay, not very disappointed. What, 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 what's the word, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um... <laughs> I ran into a couple of people while I was playing the game, so it wasn't an entire solitary. It wasn't an entirely uh, singular experience, um, but it was like I ran into a guy that was like level 39 in some power armor, and then I fucking ran into like a level seven guy uh, somewhere else, like. And he, like, tried to beat me with, like, a bat and shit. And wanted to engage, but I didn't engage. So, this game is just a very... It feels very... Unfinished? <laughs> like that sentence. <laughs> you know, like, it's right there. Right on the cusp of, uh... Doing good things. But games have done this kind of stuff better before. This is, like, a crappy Borderlands. It's what it kind of feels like. So Borderlands like pauses the game whenever there's like a cutscene and it has interesting characters and everybody kind of takes this time to like take a break from the fantastically fun loot fest that Borderlands is, right? So everybody gets the story, gets a break, yada yada, goes back into the action, gets the characters, fantastic. So story in this one is delivered not through cutscenes, not through fucking anything other than like reading and listening to audio clips, which is great if you're super fucking nerdy. <laughs> uh, but you're not going to want to fucking play this by yourself. The only way this game is going to be fun is if you fucking have buddies who are super into fucking Fallout. Like, love the universe and like, oh, the like feuds between fucking the Brotherhood and like fucking all the like subtle... Yeah, so if you <laughs> subtle, I don't know what I'm what I'm looking for. The universe is very rich, which is why people love it. So this game is trying to like is fucking counting on that to carry the weight, to be honest, of any appeal that this game is gonna have. So if you're super into Fallout, get it, because it's gonna be a romp, man. It's gonna be a fucking romp. You're gonna blast some shit. You're gonna have a great time with your buddies. Blah blah blah. If you're not over the top, super fucking. <laughs> interested in reading about oh god what was the fucking i found a couple uh found a couple things that i read for a good bit about like some lady fucking uh her husband like left her or something and she fucking went out after him and like i don't know like <laughs> so if you like reading little things about little minor characters like stories and shit like uh boone's mission in new vegas where like uh, you find out that the old lady sold Boone's wife into slavery. Not, it doesn't change fucking anything about the game, and Boone never fucking, like, don't really get it mentioned, but it's just, like, a little fucking thing to know. And, like, she's fucking... Those little things, right? All the little side quests. Um, that's what this game <laughs> is good, and it's not even good for that. <laughs> All right. Um, shit, I got to get back on track here. Uh, the ending boss, people have said that it was just it's just some, like, level 95 Scorch Beast. So, like, really, there's not anything to even build up to. So, it's pretty much all depending on the players that are playing it. So, if you have a huge group of friends, 
like 24 friends that'll always play it, then you can just constantly fucking have wars and nukes with each other and like build huge ass fucking fortress camps and try to destroy each other's shit, right? That is the real end game here, you know? So, war, man. Apparently it changes. <laughs>